Thank you for staying with us. The National Industrial Court of Nigeria has ordered the striking members of the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors to resume work immediately. The order was made following an ex parte motion filed last Friday by the Federal Ministry of Health. The motion sought for an order of interlocutory injunction restraining members of NOD from uh, further continuing the industrial action they embarked upon on the 2nd of August 2021. Ruling on the motion, the presiding judge, Justice J.I. Tagema, ordered all members of NAD to resume work immediately and adjourn the matter until the 15th of September 2021. In his reaction, uh, the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige, described uh, the court ruling as a welcome development. He assured, or reassured rather, that uh, the affected doctors, uh, that the ruling would not prevent the implementation of uh, agreements contained in the Memorandum of Understanding reached at the last meeting with the Nigerian Medical Association and affiliate associations with timelines affixed to them. The NMA had led three doctors' associations to the negotiation that lasted uh, several hours on Friday after a series of negotiations between the government and the doctors failed. Well, joining us uh, live to further discuss this development is the first vice president of the National Association of Resident Doctors, NAD, Dr. Adejo Arume. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us on uh, the news. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nigerians. Thank you for having me. Right. The National Industrial Court has ordered uh, striking members of your association to return to work. And the government sees this as a welcome development. But it seems uh, the resident doctors think differently. What really is the issue here? All right. Um, thank you once again. Well, uh, we are law-abiding members of this country. And uh, we just received the the um the court judgment um just now um we are transmitting we are transmitting it to our lawyers for proper interpretation we are not legal minds we are doctors we are no legal minds so we wait for our lawyers interpretation and our lawyers advice now, before this, uh, there was a memorandum of action that was signed by the enemy and uh, another association, but uh, the resident doctors refused to append their signature to that, saying that uh, there was a clause that uh, seemingly wasn't clear. Talk to us uh, ab about that clause. And also, there was a statement coming from your association saying that, uh, uh, they, that you feel that the government, you're being punished for government's failures. Thank you very much. Um, first of and foremost, we went to the meeting as an observer to give information to the Nigerian Medical Association. The government did not invite us because they have already sued us to court. It was enemy that invited us to come and give information. And secondly, um, our members have given us clear instruction that we have been sending a lot of memorandum of understanding. And because those things have no legal binding, most times when we sign it, the government just threw it into the trash. That we should not sign anything unless they instruct us. Thirdly, the case is still in court. The president of the association cannot append his signature. And finally, there was a clause there that says no work, no pay. And we are telling them that, okay, if you want to blackmail us with the health of Nigerians and say we should sign, can you please remove this clause? Mm. It's not fair when you, when, you, when you have not paid someone for four good months going to five months and those in the state for almost 19 months. And what is the penalty that you instituted against those people? those agencies, those people that refuse to pay us. This is work done. We are not ghost workers. We are not illegal workers. We are essential workers whose life is also essential. So if our life is essential and people are not paying us for four good months, what is the penalty? 
Now you are telling us you want to institute no work, no pay. When you yourself are taking us to court, asking the court to tell you why you should not institute it. Why not wait for the court to give judgment before you institute it? You are going against the court. So we cannot append our signature to such a document because right. we are law-abiding members of the society. Now, this matter has uh, been adjourned uh, to the 15th of September. Uh, what should Nigerians expect? Yes, uh, your lawyer is still looking at uh, the injunction received from the courts. What should Nigerians expect? What would be that thing that will ensure that we see an end to this matter at the end of the day? We want, we thank Nigeria so far for their understanding. And we want to let everyone know that we also are Nigerians and we are being affected. We want Nigerians to join our voices, to cry out to the president. Obviously, they are lying to Mr. President because I don't think Mr. President will keep quiet if he knows what is really going on. We want Nigerians to put their voices with house and cry out to Mr. President. The life of Nigerians matters. The government should take the life of its citizens seriously. Now, even if you don't care about my own life as a doctor, care about the life of my kids, care about the life of my wife, because they did not choose to be born into a doctor's home. And please do the needful, because our life is being seen as useless. That's what they're trying to tell us. You've not paid me for four months, and I'm trying to tell you I don't have transportation to come to work. And you're taking me to court to force me to come to work. How, how will I come to work then? Will I walk down somebody that works in na National Hospital and live in Manaba? Because National Hospital cannot provide um, 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 accommodation. A resident doctor is supposed to live in the hospital. That's, that's the meaning of the word resident. And he's staying in Manaba. And you have not paid him for four months. And you want him to come to work. How? It's very unfair. It's man in humanity to man. Is very, very insensitive. So what would you want, a definite answer now, what do you want from government that we end this on pass? What we have been saying since, oh. pay our members, look into the issues at the states. Don't tell us that the federal government don't have a right. Health is, is number one priority. Oh. The federal government can, can look into the issues at the state. Okay? Oh. We believe that let the Minister of Health do what he's supposed to do. Let him do what he's supposed to do. Let him convoke a meeting of him, of him and the various commissioner of health in the various states and give them a marching order. Those doctors in, in the state, they are like us too, that work in the federal. Those people going to hospitals in the state and Nigerian citizens first before they are from that state. Do you want to tell me that, that their life does not matter? All right. What is applicable? In, this, in the federal, it should be applicable in the state. All right, we'll have to leave the conversation here now. Uh, first, Vice President of the National Association of Resident Doctors, Dr. Adejo Arume, thank you for your time on the news. Thank you.